Hey guys, so I got another tutorial for you that I wanted to do for you today about your workspaces. If you have not used workspaces within Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator, this is gonna be a great tutorial for you. Uh, but I wanna first kind of explain why you wanna use workspaces and what they are. So your workspace is this. This is your window here where you can see everything you have going on on your deck. And this is all of the pieces that you have that are showing of all the different palettes. These are basically like a bunch of different palettes. And then some, like if you hit styles here, you can see there's some other ones within here, right? You can scroll through and it kind of condenses them down. Some people like to work with them like open like this. Some people like to just have the icons. It's totally up to you. But Adobe has created something called workspaces and that is right here. So you can see here, you can create a workspace. But what I wanna do first is you'll notice if you scroll down, I have Adrian's workspace, essentials, 3D, motion, painting, photography, graphics, and web. So you see here, there's different ones and most people just have the stock workspace. And you can see it just kind of disorganized looking. You have to kind of, kind of move them in here. But once you get a good workspace that works for you, for the stuff that you're gonna be using, how do you save that? How do you actually build out your workspace to fit the best for you? So that's what we're gonna show you today. I'm gonna to make this a quick tutorial, but I just wanna break it down. So for me, I do a lot of graphic design on the print design side, as well as logo designs. And so what I'm trying to do is spend most of my time using type like photography or photography like type, like typography, uh, paragraphs, the pathfinder tool, swatches. There's certain things that I need. So what I'm gonna first do is go over to window and I'm gonna click and make sure that I have some of those. So I need my brush settings. So there's brush settings right there. I'm gonna scroll down here. I know I need characters. So there's characters right there. Um, another thing that I use a lot, this is really popular, is the history tab. So you can kind of go back and scroll through your history. So I'm gonna keep that up there. Uh, another one is library. So this will pull stuff uh, from your libraries. You can sync in your Creative Cloud stuff in here. So I wanna make sure that that's in there. And you can also do a search. Patterns are a good one. Paragraph I already have inside there. Layers is obviously essential, right? And then I also noticed that info was right here and I use info sometimes as well. Kind of gives you some longitude, latitude type uh, directions and kind of gives you some colors. You can see here 255, 255, 255 with the color of the background, CMYK zero all across this. If I were to flip this and let's just show you here real fast. And let me go to my line tool. There's that line tool somewhere in here or the shape here is a shape tool, right? If I go here and then I roll over it and I go back to my info, where's my info? Here we go, F8. You can kind of see here I can roll over this and it actually gives me the breakdowns of those as well. So this is a really helpful thing to have in your palette as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag that in there, drag this in here, drag this in here, because I like it in one row. I don't like having two rows like that. So I want it all in one row, nice. And then they're also separated by sections so you can have them broken into their own sections or you can all put them into one. So I'm, I'm putting all these into here. Boom, and now it's starting to kind of put it all into one. So there we go. So now that I have everything in here, I'm gonna kind of cascade this out a little bit. So I got my paths, I got my layers, I got my properties, I got my colors, channels. Let's see here, I have swatches, which is really good. And then there's even styles. So let me make sure that styles is in here as well. Boom, styles. So now I can totally adjust this. So character is probably what I use the most of. Libraries is important. So you can see here, you can get a glance at your libraries. These are some of the past libraries and stuff. I can search libraries. There's a lot of neat things you can do within that. That's a whole nother video for another day. Styles is a big one for me. Uh, brush settings is another big one. I want info up here at the top because I think it's a really important one. Color obviously is key, right? Color and character, those are huge. Um, paragraph styles, I want to make sure that I have that in there. Just the paragraph overall. Um, my brushes is key for me. Let me make sure I get color up to the top. There you go, we'll move paragraph styles right there. And then styles there, and then swatches. That's another big one. So this pretty much gives me everything I need, and then I also need properties. So I wanna make sure that everything's laid out nice and clean. And then what you'll do is you'll go over into here now. You click up here, and I can hit new workspace. So I'm just gonna call this Adrian Test workspace and I can delete this later if I want to. Let me put the capital T in there. And then if you want, you can even customize your shortcuts, your keyboard shortcuts, which I use a lot of keyboard shortcuts. You can customize your menus and save those. 
all the menus, which I'm going to save my menus, and then your toolbar as well. So it's going to capture all these things. So I'm going to say Adrian test workspace. There we go. And I'm going to hit save. Now you can see here, I can switch back and forth between these two. So I have my original one and then I can switch to my test workspace. Boom. You see it changed everything. Now, if you look at some of the essentials, right, you have all this. It looks pretty much the same. Then I have 3D motion or 3D in general. I added the 3D piece and broke it into the two columns there. I can go graphics and web. It's going to have even more. So I just created my own workspace, and that's something I wanted to show you guys how to do. You really want to customize it so that you can work quickly and efficiently. A lot of people are not working very efficiently in here, and they don't understand the keyboard shortcuts. I want to make sure that you guys do. If you look at your preferences, and then you go into, let's see here, workspace. This tab opens up, auto show hidden panels, open documents. You can totally customize this and you can have it auto collapse the iconic panels. So, which is really, really neat. And then you can also restore the default workspace as well. If that's not working. Um, one of my favorite things to do is the keyboard shortcuts. I use them a lot. I'm going to make a video on just that. It's important that you learn them. Uh, but we're going to save that for another day. So thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Make sure you hit a drop a like and a comment so I can get to know you. I want to meet you and uh, hit the subscribe button. So hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.